the actual Olympics wasn't what I thought it'd be, but the journey up to the Olympics and everything that I went through, my life, my upbringing, everything, actually making the Olympics, that was the achievement. Coming from a small town, poor, illiterate until I was in my 20s, I never would have dreamt as a little black fella up in far north Queensland running around in the heat in my undies all day chasing dogs and kangaroos. I never thought I'd been to like 14 different countries around the world, represented Australia, multiple world champs at the Olympics. The boxing has been uh, it's been a roller coaster, you know. I've had a few ups and downs, and you know, a lot of inactivity. But I'm with uh, Dreamtime Promotions now, and I'm working with Matt Rose, who's uh, No Limits, and you know, we've got some plans, and we've got some big things in the pipeline. And you know, I'm back into training now. I think because of everything that you, you, I've gone through, life-wise, boxing-wise, you know, the hardships and the in and out of boxing and the, all this sort of stuff. It's allowed me to grow. I got into the art about a year and a half ago. Go, going on December, this December will be two years, and uh, you know, it kind of just, I kind of just fell into it. I um, never had, never been interested in art my whole life, and because uh, of boxing and sport, I was very sport driven, and because of my ADHD, I never really could sit down and and paint for hours on end, so it wasn't something that was on my radar my whole life. And I just started, you know, doodling around and I started painting and just developed from there naturally. I think it's just, it's an integrated part of, of, of our culture now. You know, we had no written language. Uh, everything was done through, you know, story, passed down through story, song, performance and art. And, you know, I tell a good story, I can dance a little bit, and then, uh, you know, now the art is just another component of it that's all coming together in the big picture. I was in contact with the AOC, they got in contact with me and I, I think I just dropped it. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm doing some art as well. And they're like, oh really? Well, we might get you to do a piece. And then, yeah, they, then it just flowed on from there. And, you know, I got to do the two pieces for the uh, AOC for the Olympics and one's on, going to be on the towels, the whole team's towels, which is a real cool achievement, you know, I reckon that's being an ex-Olympian as well and it's going to be represented by Indigenous and non-Indigenous people on the world stage and we get to share our culture and our story. So I really feel really drawn to the traditional colours um, and this is a story of the three meeting places, you know, I, there's past, future and present. Yeah, I done the footprints leading from the past and the future to the, to the Olympics because, you know, as we all know that this can change your future and, and your past is all working towards this. So that's why I did it like that. The opportunity come up to to do that design um, for, that's going to be on the Australian um, representative fight kit. I give big credit to Boxing Australia for you know reaching out and saying, hey, this is something that we want to do, and you know we'd love to have this, and you know that's 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 a great step forward in for change and you know acceptance and acknowledgement of the past and the present and move for the future. I'm my own person, I have my own beliefs and you know I'm gonna push out what I wanna push out I wanna push out positivity and I wanna be you know I wanna be a face of change and my story ain't finished yet.